Hi, this is Denise Matthew, and today I'm going to make a sideways heart necklace. So the first thing I do, I'm going to use my um, multi-level um, pliers today, but again, you can use uh, just a round nose plier. The only thing that you need to do is try and um, mark it on your pliers where you're going to um, make your uh, one half of your heart, so it's exactly the same. Okay, so I'm just going to use this bigger side, and I'm just making a one heart side. Okay, and then I just basically you're just making a hook. All right, now I'm going to take my chain nose pliers, and the reason why I'm using my chain nose pliers is because I like the fact that the angle is much sharper because that's what you want for the the bottom of your your heart. And so this is what I have so far. All right, now the only thing I have to do now is go back to these multi-level pliers, and I'm just going to and I have a little bit too much wire. You might want to be a little bit more careful with um, how much wire you're. Uh, you actually need. Okay, so I'm just making another circle and as I do that I'm sort of adjusting it so I sort of have something like this okay and before I do any cutting I just want to make sure that it's it's kind of the way I like it so I'm just adjusting a little bit and then now that I have it like that I'm going to go right down and cut right there. Okay, so so far that's what I have. Now again, you, you might want to be a little more careful with your measurements for your um, for your heart because you want to, you know, especially with sterling silver. But I can always use that for something else. Okay, so now that I have it like that, I'm just going to bring these closer together, these two points. Okay, so they're a little bit overlapping. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Now that I have these ends a little bit overlapped, okay, just a little bit, I'm going to take the hammer and just hammer a little bit there. And all I'm trying to do is make sure that these are as close as possible to one another so that when I put the solder, it will stick together. Because if there's any separation in your wires, you're going to have issues with your solder. So just push it in a little bit. Going to, I'm adding some solder. Uh, it's a solder paste. All right, just a little bit, and I fire it. So, now if you notice, the solder will always come to your, your the heat. It's drawn towards the heat. All right, and it's just a little bit. Okay, just enough to get it. connection and the connection is good okay so the connection is good and now I'm going to hammer um, and I will turn down the sound but with the hammering it's just going to flatten and then texturize all right you can finish the necklace and there's two ways to finish it one is just to put your jump ring on like that and then you would just attach it to your your chain and you're going to you're going to do it on the side and then here and that would be how to do that part uh, the one trick to make your heart stay sideways is make sure that your jump rings are as small as possible that you can use that will still go around the heart and make them as tight as possible and that will keep your heart in, sp in the place. Another way you can finish it is to have two small silver beads or you could do crystals or whatever you want and then I'm just going then just do a closed loop wrap like this and just do your regular wrap and you can refer back to uh, the video I have on how to do wrap loops and just slide on a bead and another wrap loop on the other side and that's going to go around your your heart and try and make this relatively tight to the heart because that way it will keep your heart in place. 
I mean, that's the trick to this necklace is to try and keep that heart so it's sideways rather than than uh, hanging straight because it will hang straight if it's not secured properly. All right, so I'm just doing a little bit of a wrap here. And then trim that back and then just do the other side. And you can use as much or as little chain as you like according to what you want, but just take into consideration how big your heart is. And this is a bigger heart, but you can use you could always make it much smaller than this for a more delicate look. It's whatever whatever you really want to do with it. It's very versatile. I put my next bead on and then just do another wrap loop on the other side. Catch it up in the top of the heart. Secure it and then, and if you notice it's already starting to move a little bit around, that's okay. Like I said, if I make sure that it's tight Right, trim that back. Okay, so now they have it like this, and when you pick it up, that will show you that it's going to stay in place. Because if it's not tight enough, it will do this. Well, it'll it'll just not stay in the in the way you want it to stay. So, so this concludes the tutorial. I hope you liked it, and if you do, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.